is going to be a truly epic game between two fantastic players. Sen, known as basically the only one that can really stand the heat versus Koreans. He does it so well so often. A grubby, he's been performing so well recently. It looks like both of these players are ready to go, so let's get this underway. Oh, biscuit. yeah. This is going to be an absolutely fantastic matchup right here. Indeed. As we start down into the last four groups, this is Group N. This is going to be a fantastic game. Best of three. Taldramolta, the first map choice Great, here. great place to start, honestly, considering these yeah. two players, the skill that we will have on display. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce to you the man from the team with the manliest name. The team goes by the name of Gamma Bears, and he is playing Zerg to the northwest of this particular map in the blue trunks. Let's give it up for Sen. Oh yes, and his opponent, uh, mighty player in his own right, the second manliest team name because he named the team after himself. He is playing Protoss in the green trucks to the northeast of the Taldorum Alta. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Grubby. Well, the king of orcs into StarCraft 2 and he started off with a rocky career, to be honest. Yes, I he mean, did. Yep. There was a lot of expectations ex you kind of expected from him, of course. I mean, yep. he's the king of orcs. He's multiple WCG world champion. Uh, he's won BlizzCon. He's won ESWC, uh, WSVG, E-Stars. The list just goes on, right? He yep. was basically one of the best uh, foreigners within Warcraft 3, if not the best Warcraft 3 player of all time. Uh, and now he's in StarCraft 2, and finally he's had the time to actually get to a decent level, and we're finally happy to see it. Uh, and you know, it brings a lot of joy to my little English heart that we are actually seeing him, and even though I would never admit to his face, I'm a little bit of a fanboy. I don't know about you. I think everyone's really a fanboy of Grubby, one uh, way or the other. He's so. done so much for the industry, he's done so much for esports, yep. you know, he's a great personnel. So it's fantastic to see him here in another fantastic tournament once again. On the other hand though, Sen is no slouch. This guy, oh my god, he's actually been around in StarCraft 1 for like 10 years, like 2003, 2004, into StarCraft 2 now. And uh, it looks like he is opening it with Sport and Pull first, then we'll try to follow it with a hatchery. Will Grubby decide to throw a pylon down here to try and prevent that hatchery going down? Probably will want to. Yeah, absolutely. The interesting thing Ooh. about Sen is that he did go with a pool on 12, so it looks like he's aiming to try and clean that up, and we see a Nexus first here from Grubby. And he's going to have to throw that forge down pretty immediately, actually, and he's going to have to... Well, this may be a difficult situation. Now, we only have two fallings now coming out. Uh, Grubby could have thrown down a pylon, but if he had done, it would have delayed everything that he needs to focus on now, which yep. is basically walling off. Sen now knows exactly where his opponent is, and now four links are about to pop. Grubby should be able to build a cannon in time, but I doubt it'll be in time to stop all four links. Maybe get a couple of kills, but look how late that forge actually is, because he decided to go Nexus first here. So this may be quite awkward for Grubby, though he has started to walk off, and if, if need be, he can complete that walk off here with a probe as well. So... It's a little bit close. There is that complete wall off. And actually, it is a complete wall off. Doesn't yep, even need the probe fine. help. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. There doesn't seem to be a leak in that wall <laughs> off whatsoever. And regardless of going Nexus first, he's still able to stop that. Obviously, if it had been an earlier pull, maybe 10 even before that, that would have been a problem. It would be rather embarrassing to lose this gateway if that was the case. But the cannon is about to complete, so Sen he is pulling back. He can replace it with a 7 minutes core is now. He's in great position. Yeah. Uh, and he hasn't slipped up on any timings, really, either. Nope, the gateway none. was down on a, on a nice time. It wasn't that delayed, either. Uh, the only thing he needs to focus on now is throwing down an additional pylon very, very shortly, uh, though he's getting to both gases now, and he's also scouted out that Sen wants to kill these back rocks. So we already know, or can sense, what Sen would like to do so far in this game. Now, just taking that first gas, will be mining gas, obviously, ready for that gas, uh, ready for the speed upgrade, sorry. Well, it's always good to mine gas in preparation for more gas, yes. identified. That's actually the logical progression, so I think you're definitely right there. Whatever the case, uh, Sen uh, playing fairly passively for the moment. He had a bit of a poke. He's got eight lings out just to make yeah. sure he's got a bit of control and more to the point, get through these rocks at something approaching a reasonable pace, and is now trying to drone behind that. And uh, third gas taken really fast here from Grubby. Yeah, so, that's interesting. Uh, he could be throwing down a Stargate. It is viable here, and he's quite well known for that also. Uh, he's got very, very good control with his units, especially with Void Rays, very slow, very Warcraft 3 esque. Meanwhile, we still have these rocks about to go down, and uh, there is that Stargate being thrown down on the edge. And this Overlord doesn't quite scout it either, though the Overlord can easily poke down to the left a little bit and return to this higher point. Meanwhile, Grubby is kind of boosting quite well into the 
uh, Nexus is at 33 probes to 28 drones. Meanwhile, Sen, though, is about to take a third base at the six minute mark. You know, a relatively fast base uh, for Sen here. Six minute mark is the timing for a third base if you've included speed into your build, which is what we're seeing here. Yeah, I have to wonder what kind of damage Grubby could really do with this Stargate as a result. I mean, he would have loved to have been in a different kind of position to engage it. Yeah. If he wants to try and do that, it's going to be tricky because he's got to try and fly over the natural. Yeah. He might perhaps start harassing the natural, then maybe try and move to the third, exploiting the fact that the creep hasn't actually joined yeah. up yet. But we'll see if he decides to go Phoenix here. He has taken a fourth gas, and it's going to be a Void Ray. The thing is, in these positions, spawning top right and top left, there's only one Zalnaga Tower that covers pretty much the, the pathway for units for Stargate units. So yeah. as long as Grubby can control that, he's going to be able to have uh, undetection coming from everything that he does. In these positions also, he can start to warp in onto the higher ground as well if he gets a pylon close. So there's a lot of options for Grubby to be aggressive rather than passive in this game. Though Grubby's very, very good at holding the line, getting into defensive positions, uh, and winning fights because of it. Ooh, Will he decide to be aggressive and... The Overlord uh, doesn't get oh, it any knows scout, now. Yeah, it's, it's at the same time, there's three more gateways been thrown down, combining that with the, the, the first one, four in total, so pushing up those gateways counts, he may, I, I doubt he'll try to expand from here, I think that we are going to see some pressure coming from Grubby uh, and spending a lot of money in these Void Rays, as we can see. Yeah, it certainly does the job. And the th fun thing about Void Rays, if you can keep them alive, then they're very good for supporting fire in uh, larger armies later on. So as long yeah. as he doesn't throw them away, he should be absolutely fine. I think the support caller's going to finish there, and he can't really fight both, so he does need to back off at this point, try and find another way around. The problem is, of course, Void Rays don't move all that quickly, and this is giving Sen more prep time. And Grubby's actually really, really good. And there's that pylon, by the way, on the left-hand side. Grubby's really good in this matchup, most recently, but it is spotted very early here by Sen, as that overlord does float by. So a uh, single zealot's going to warp in, will kill these three zerglings before they kill the pylon. And all of a sudden, these four gateways are going to start to come into effective use. Yeah, we've got a combination of Zealot and Void Ray at the minute, which is very, very nice, because if these Zealots can easily, and they should be able to easily assassinate the Queens, then Grubby should be able to smash his way through here without too much of a problem. The Spore Crawler will also be killed very fast, which is why this is a good combination, but he's got to at least bring one of them down. Spore Crawler is about to die, but he's been surrounded by Zerglings there, so it does stay up, and Grubby moving into a decent position, keeps those Void Rays alive. He does have a third one in here as well, now moving around as quickly as he can, trying to avoid it, and one shot on the Spore Crawler takes it immediately, and there we go. Got more zealots oh, easily surrounded. Oh, it just survives. Oh my god, with one HP oh left. Oh my god. Grubby. So much great control. And the second queen following down to the death there. Excellent stuff there by Grubby. Forcing a Hydralist den out, which honestly doesn't look like it was what Sen wanted to do at all. He's now realizing yeah. this is getting a little bit tricky. And I've got to be extremely careful about what I do oh, next. Grubby's turned into such a great player in this last coming months. And he's doing so much damage to the drones line. How many is he killed now? Seven and counting. So many queens have been killed, which means the production has been halted for Sen. Though there are a lot of Zerglings out, but Grubby's follow-up robotics facility down. The robotics bait is somewhere as well. Uh, don't even know where that is. Actually, they are on the natural. So he's, he's doing okay. And if he goes into Colossus, he may actually decide... Oh, actually, oh my god. Oh, no, 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 no. He... Oh no, a massive run by. That was disastrous and really should not have happened. Grubby makes a massive error and in he goes. Sender so, wants to go right for the Nexus at this point and try to do as much damage as Prolite as he can. Grubby is very quick pulling off there. Zealot swapped in to try and defend that line and looks to get the cleanup. He will lose the base Nexus, which is really not good at all. Oh my oh, god, he actually keeps it alive. Oh my god, unbelievable force field. Meanwhile, killing the spawning pool as well at the same time with the void Holy crap, he's gonna what be able to get the, the cancellation on the spire as well and oh my god the nexus actually lives oh no no he can't surely he cannot finish oh. it off no he can't clean up grubby grubby hydra's at the front door though this is getting a little bit difficult here for uh, grubby because he hasn't got that many units and he doesn't really have anything to combat these hydras so at the meantime the void is still alive doing so much damage though he has to be so careful about losing these voiders right now He's concentrating heavily on these Hydras. Yeah, he's got to watch out. And the Hydras at the front there. Grubby needs to keep his multitasking up. He knows that. He's pulling back. He keeps all three oh, Void Rays alive once again. Colossus is now out as well, which is going to shut down Surprise! Sen is getting roasted right now. Colossus pushes out. He holds. He takes some damage, but fairly limited. And if we actually look at his probe count, it's still pretty damn high. Wow. Oh my god, I can't believe Grubby's playing this well right now it's in such crazy. an important tournament as well. And now he's adding on a couple more gateways to complete the wall. If he can easily take a third base here as well, and the Spire is on its way. Void Rays 
Oh my god, they actually it's, don't it's, die. It's, they what? Actually it don't lives die. again! The, that's the same Void Ray. It's down at 1 HP again. It's still alive. I don't even know how that happens. Meanwhile, it, Grubby's got the strategical pylon in the bottom left as well. So you can actually actively deny this fourth base. He knows it's coming as well. There are two Zealots, three Zealots coming in. Single Zergling, unfortunately for Sen, isn't going to be able to handle three Zealots. Yeah, he's got nothing that can really do it. That's going well, to be one can't very... can't actually see it, remember, as well, so... Yeah, he, he has no idea it's there, so it's absolutely terrible. Void Rays, not exactly the optimum counter to Zerglings, but these guys have been around for a while. These guys are veterans. Looking for the deny. Could potentially force the cancel here. No, he should be all right. There's not enough damage coming in. The rest get cleaned up at the side there. So nicely held there by Grubby. Grubby looking at such a good position. 15 meters, though. Are about to come in. That's where meters things start to get stressful. Are, yeah, there's only six stalkers and a single phoenix. Actually, looking in Grubby's vision, he didn't or didn't see the replacement of the spire. And this fourth base does get cancelled now, which is great for Grubby. But at the same time, he has to start thinking about meals. He doesn't really know about it though. That's the biggest problem right now. Uh, these meters are going to be able to do so much damage. The twilight cancel is down somewhere inside this base. Blink is on its way and out Blink as well. Blink is on its way. So. Plus one armor, plus one uh, attack is already complete, but this third base, I can't see this actually surviving this time around. Probably not, honestly. Sen will try and pick up some probes. These stalkers will not survive. There's not enough of them. I think Grubby's just going to go for it, honestly. Maybe even go for a base train, try to warp in more stalkers behind us, because what has Sen really got to hold? He has to come back. He has yeah, to come back, he... otherwise he's going to lose his natural, he's going to lose his main, he's going to lose his tech, which actually allows Grubby to get the third base up and buying him more time to get anti -air. Really smart play. Instead of saying, oh god, I should pull back. It's like, no, attack right now. Force the Munis to return. The main problem he's got is that I don't know if he's got enough stalkers to deal with this. Oh. Even with them, oh, the hero Void Ray is finally eliminated. What a sad, sad day it is for Void Ray kind. And this is cleaned up. And honestly, I mean, Grubby did just throw away a lot of units to make this happen. He did kill the natural expansion. And Sen's economy is in a bit of a wreck right now. Oh, no cancel. Oh, what a slip up right there. And that's 300 minerals thrown away. But still not a good enough answer to the 21 muters yet. Well, Blink is not so far away from finishing he's got a decent stalker count oh these ones are coming where are the reinforcements need some help guys yep yep need a little help here he's warping in a he's few got more than he's got too many though no the, yeah he can't stop it that's the problem there's too many mutalisks right now grubby can't do anything about it he did not see the switch coming grubby loses stalker after stalker he's pumping out phoenixes as well and it's gonna have to be some fairly crazy phoenix control to make this work he should be pumping out as many as he can assuming he's got the resources for it Reinforcing with stalkers and a Ling Run by comes in as well. That's really problematic. He just used a warp in on Zealots. Oh, it's not good here. And the Mulus are going to be able to wipe Grubby away. I don't think that's one Phoenix, despite how good Grubby's control is, is going to survive. Though this Colossus Hero Colossus is killing the reinforcing Lings, unfortunately. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, he's, he's doing all right with it, but uh, there's again, no answer to the Mutas. It, well, I mean, that's the problem, isn't it? You know, if you get this big Muta switch and it's not scouted, then Protoss basically can't handle it. There's no way to do it, yeah. and or you have to know that it's coming, and you have to be able to deal with it. Grubby is so so well played and close, but that switch catches him completely off guard and. It's really hard to come back from this situation. And Zealot's charging towards the third base, but don't really achieve too much. His drones are pulled off nice and time. There was uh, a drone here, surprisingly, to scout that. But GG GG. caught by Grubby. Yeah. Oh, a, a disappointing one at that for I mean, everyone as well. And Sen played really well. You've got to give him credit. But Grubby looked so powerful in that game. And then he, he missed one tech switch. He had no idea it was coming, and he had no answer to it when it came. Yeah, well, he got the cancellation on the Spire initially, and then he didn't really expect it to come back up straight away. Yeah. Uh, you know, which is a bit of a blunder in itself, not having... And also, not, not really not having, but the Observer was sniped off simply just by having Spore Crawlers in yep. position because of the, uh, the air to begin with. So, unfortunately for Grubby, he doesn't quite see that switch. But on the other side, how calm can you be as Sen throughout that pressure? Losing fourth base, third base, natural, you know, so much damage going on in multiple different areas, but staying composed and realizing that the best way to play against robotics facility, robotics based style, is directly going to Mutus because they, they have to tech switch out and it takes such a long time. Yeah, exactly. You, you have no answer to that at that point. You've got to get the stalk account up high. You've got to get Blink going, which of course was not happening. Yeah. You are a scary individual. It's tough, man. Yeah. Somebody wants your babies. Yeah, pretty much, man. It's, uh, Everybody wants your babies. I don't babies. think it's biologically compatible, unfortunately, but <laughs> that's, uh, it's not, I don't think it's quite as bad as the... You remember the one in uh, Asus Rog, your sign? That was quite impressive. Which one was that? Well, Marry Me Apollo, who was sitting right next to a boyfriend at the time. That got awkward. No shame. No, no shame. shame.
No shame. I have All to right. wonder if the marriage proposal was on her half or her boyfriend's. Maybe the, maybe she stole it to kind of save her boyfriend. Yeah, image. save her boyfriend the embarrassment. Yeah, it's it's a secret uh, fantasy. Oh my! Well, that was a great game between both of these guys. Senov and Grubby, obviously fantastic players one way or the other, and. Oh, it hurt to watch Grubby go down in that one. It did. Those yeah. force fields, clutch force fields on the Nexus, absolutely genius. Great control with the Void Rays, but still, 23 Mutalisks. It's difficult to deal with. Oh, yes, it very, is. Very, very difficult. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, I think Grubby probably would have preferred Sen just to go and kill the third base. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, and then obviously, Grubby doing more damage in the main and third, but... Yeah, Unfortunately, it does drop down and I'm not. I'm not sure he really knew how many mutalisks that Sen actually had. I mean, 15 popped out at once, seven more to reinforce from behind. It's <laughs> fairly unpleasant, really. And yeah, if it was maybe 10 mutalisks, yeah, absolutely pull them back. We can probably pick them off with the phoenix, the void rays, and the stalkers. With he had eight on the front line there, but 23, no, no, yeah. the, he had no answer to that. There was nothing he could do. So that was very unfortunate. And Grubby will of course be much more careful to watch out for those sneaky little spires coming up next time around. We're just waiting. I imagine Grubby will be watching the replay there, wondering where it all went wrong, because he must have thought that he was on top of that game, as did everyone else. Yeah, I mean, he's just now creating the game. Uh, thinking of map choices, Shakur's Plateau is okay to do here. Um, uh, it's kind of tough, because Taldor Malta is pretty good for you. I guess Daybreak is okay as well. Daybreak's quite good, but we'll see. All right, so I have to make this game myself unfortunately. And I have to get the right version because there's so many of them. You are hardcore, man. You are absolutely hardcore. <sighs> can I say? I have infinite respect for your game making skills. While trying to talk, it can get difficult. Alright, so... Oh, so tilt. Okay. It's like the crowd's telling me what my job is. <laughs> <sighs> Everything's going wrong for I know, you it's today, like I isn't it? Site. I'm like, Grubby, I think you should play Jewel Sight. He's yeah. like, no. I'm like, oh. Yeah, uh, right. I think you should do Blistering Sands. All right, I'm in. I'm in. Let me get a Grubby in now. All right. It's always good to go and look at Reddit after a particularly interesting play, and it's like nothing but threads, oh my god, Grubby force fields. All right, it's brilliant. so where are you? There's you, and there's Gamma. 